Zlatan, it's a real pleasure to have you both. Um, Jerry and I know each other from a long time. It's the first time I have the pleasure to meet Zlatan, although I've admired his many goals as a devout AC Milan fan. Um, Jerry, it's been 18 months since you took over my beloved club. Mm. The first nine months <clears throat> were more on a, as, a, as a passive, not passive owner, but like you, kind of, you were studying the club. Uh, and then after that, you started taking more kind of active measures, including bringing Zlatan on board um, as an operating partner of Redbird, uh, as well as an advisor to AC Milan. You made some tough calls, uh, one of them being uh, deciding to let AC Milan legend Paolo Maldini go. Uh, you sold Tonali, which actually was a great deal in many ways because he raised a lot of money for the club, which allowed you to buy a lot of players. Can you give us a bit of sense of like, What's the vision now that you've studied the club and made some important decisions, and, and what is important to you for the future of, of the club? Well, there's a lot there. Um, it's been a long 18 months. Um, and you're right, you know, I, 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 did, I told myself that I was gonna, if I was going to do this, I was not going to come into the European system as a control owner of a large team uh, and, and come in guns blazing like a typical American, right? So I, I actually forced myself to take a year and, and just study and watch and understand it better. Um, obviously, you know, I've had the privilege in my 30-year investment career of being around the best uh, ownerships in sports, mostly American-based, but, you know, over the last five years, I've had the privilege of being associated with Liverpool, uh, became the control owner of Toulouse, so, you know, it, it's been a learning curve. AC Milan, I knew, was going to be a, more of a learning curve, uh, and so, you know, what, what we've done over the last 18 months is start to put the pieces in place to execute on our investment thesis. We have a real investment thesis here. It's an investment thesis around AC Milan itself. It's an investment thesis around Syria. Uh, and, you know, my, you know, what I would say on the whole thesis is that we need to be a change agent. You know, what's going on in Italy, um, and frankly, what's going on a little bit on the continent of Europe, is a little bit of Einstein's definition of insanity. Everybody wants a different result. Everybody wants to win, and they're not willing to do anything different. The world has changed. You know, AC Milan is where it is, the second most Champions League trophies in history behind Real Madrid because of Silvio Berlusconi. Well, you know, the way he did that, you can't do anymore, right? And I say that humbly by having apprenticed and started my career in sports with George Steinbrenner. Yeah, and of the Yankees. Of the Yankees, you know, and, you know, George Steinbrenner to baseball is what Silvio Berlusconi was to European football and Serie A. And you can't do, you can't win like that anymore. Uh, and so we have to find smarter ways of winning. And just from a purely an investment standpoint, the whole point is to win consistently. It's to put the foundation in place to professionalize the way these live event entertainment companies are owned. People get involved in these things, and what happens is all the rationality goes out the window. And because we're human, we all want to win. Nobody wants to win more than me. Mm -hmm. I'm hugely aligned with the fan base in Italy. But I have a job to do. My job is to win consistently. That's what they really want. And by the way, the value of these things is only going to go up if the competitive element is still there. So winning every year, if we won the Scudetto every year and we won Champions League every year, it would actually be less valuable. It wouldn't be a good kind of product. I mean, the whole point of sports is the unpredictability of the human element. So, you know, look, th th this is a larger conversation, but, you know, what's going on in sports generally today, it's a little concerning.